It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave what the game plan? I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. To throw is Thomas. Operating from the gun. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Now right, let's just go and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. On first down, Thomas, and that's incomplete. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. And the Jaguars send out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They run the counter. It's Barry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Go. 70, Indy. On second down now. It's Barry. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. 
And how about this wide receiving core, Charles? Well, I was at the hotel watching a little film, and you popped your head in and said, these receivers are pretty good from what I can tell. You're exactly right. Can't wait to see them do their thing out on the field. Back to throw. George is going to float this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On now is the Titans punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And here now the offense heading back out there. They come in as the three seed in this little, very likely the last home game of the season for them, even if they win this one. But uh, while they wanted one of those top two spots, they're still in a pretty good position. They are, and let's face it, any team that gets into the playoffs, as far as I'm concerned, they're in a good position because they're doing what the rest of the league wants. A lot of people are sitting at home watching them. But you made a good point. Everyone is vying for one of the top two spots. You get an opening, you know, you get a week off, you have to play that opening week, and then you get a chance to collect yourself and see how everything else falls. But all in all, number three spot, they'll take it and run with it. And maybe they get a win here and get some momentum. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they liked it. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Now Thomas. From the gun, he'll throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again. Thomas. Pass incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and they're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defense and backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They just did manage to sneak into the playoffs as a six seed, so it's a tough road ahead. They would need to win three games on the road in January, but there's 20 other teams who wouldn't mind being on that road. <laughs> You're exactly right about that. But your point about how daunting this is is well taken because it all depends on their mindset now. How do you break it down so that you're not looking at this whole big road and say to yourself, we've got no shot. You break it down to this game right now, win that one, then worry about the rest of them after that. And that's exactly right, and the staff told us that. They've been focusing with the players on don't look ahead, but that's hard to do sometimes, is it not? It is hard to do because the ultimate goal is to do well, is to win a Super Bowl. So you have to look ahead a little bit, but you make sure you focus on the game at hand. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities, but that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Now, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. This will be fielded at the 17. 
Not a big deal on that one. Just your everyday 67-yard punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open. That would have been an easy throw. That one good for 24 yards. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. First down, Flowers, he'll get three up to midfield. And the last run got three, now here's second and seven. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 30. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver. We asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a handoff here to his running back. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Here's Thomas. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Looking to throw. Thomas. And that will be incomplete. Though he's seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter, here's another good example. So on fourth down, Doug Marone going to send out his field goal unit. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From 
the game. George. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. On now is the Titans punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Oh, the jet sweep to start the drive. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, that led to a really nice game. Right back to him on first down. And this defense not giving him anything there, maybe a yard up to the 36. On second down. It's Flowers, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are, figure out the things that they really want to accomplish, and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. Ready, ready. Here's Thomas on third down. Going up top. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag oh, down. Offense. Let's check in with our referee. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Titans now. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. <laughs> On first down, Barry, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. Here's second and eight. And it's a fumble, and the Jags grab it. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And they'll start out here with a jet sweep, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. 
but the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen, and it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. To throw on second down. George, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. To throw on third down. George. And that is incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set... No, bottled up. Fumble! It's out, it's loose! Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Come on, set. 15, one, 15, one. Watch, watch a slap, watch a slap. Watch a slap. Two. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And the Jaguars send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. 
And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And I, I never played quarterback, but I'm thinking as a quarterback, you're a little bit into the game now, second quarter, you're losing, you're not playing well. Probably feels like a lot of weight on your shoulders. Certainly does, but it's something that quarterbacks have to be used to because they're always carrying around that weight. So how do they adjust the weight? How do they make it work for them? How do they work against it? That's what we're going to find out going forward. Yeah, they'll be trying to get all that weight off his shoulders here on this drive. Back to throw. George. And he slings one that's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun. George. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. now is the Titans punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease and they can run through it. Didn't happen on that play. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. Looking to throw. Thomas. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. The Jaguars on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Back to throw, Thomas. To the left side, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 17-yard line. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. This quarterback now, 6 of 17 throwing the ball, only 35%. But he does have a first and 10. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On second down now, it's Flowers. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. 
There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes our score 17-0. So that drive in total eight plays, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but you know, oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called called a I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Four yards the pickup, first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, it's Barry. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw, George. A bullet throw, but incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's... And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here of the turnover on downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. I know we're just in the second quarter, and there's a ways to go in this game. But that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Thomas on first and 10. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Thomas now on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Flowers. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Thomas. And that is caught. Touchdown. 
Jacksonville. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Extra point forthcoming. And the lead is now 24. A drive that time of six plays, and it culminates in a Jags touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself, and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people. Lean on your teammates. Find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand, or it could get worse. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC Wild Card game. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Barry. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second down now, it's Barry, and oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, yeah you're right. Down. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot yeah, easier. Set. You see it, Thank you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Looking to throw. George over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Another example of just a dominant performance by this defense. Now you hear all the time about teams that try to steal signals from the other side and try and learn their signs and their tendencies. It's almost like they get the answers to the exam the night before and were well prepared for this final. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. George. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. 
Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Now is the Titans punter. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here we go again. To throw is Thomas operating from the gun. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. A very solid gain of 27. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Looking to throw. Thomas. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly, and now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Thomas. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Looking to throw on second down. George. And he will find his man on the outside. He's at the 40, 20, 10. Touchdown, Titans. A big play there, 83 yards. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. Well, look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had a fight and claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. It feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game, a message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. Field here as they elect to go for two. Ta -da. 
And he will not make it to the goal line. The defense holds him here. And this is still a three-score game as the lead remains 18. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come up with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, and move on to the next series. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played. But you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Titans offense now. They get ready to do battle again here. First down, Barry, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Barry. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. From the gun on third down, George. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down, Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. On now is the Titans punter as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 20. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And he think he personally is evaluating his game so far. He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's gotta like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and two, alert for anything out there. Watching for trouble on the road and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if we can drive the bus here again on this drive. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw. Thomas. Going down the middle and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now Thomas from the gun, he'll throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. An extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Here's Thomas off the play fake. And he's got his man on the out round. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short. And it'll be fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Back to throw. George. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Go. 
first and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. First down, here's White. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking, beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it is good. That cuts the lead now to 11, 24, 13 hour score. Scoring summary, three play drive. And it results in a four yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. Can't officially call this a win for them yet, but it's looking good to move on to the divisional round. They'll be on the road, of course, as an underdog. But the age-old question, would you rather have the momentum they're going to have or sitting at home with a bye? I'm sure you'd probably rather have the bye. I mean, you remember that conference call we had before the playoffs started? We were talking with some people in the industry and, and some of the coaches that are out there. And we kind of posed the same question. You know, if you're coming off of a game like this, you know, and you're taking, taking out a team that had that open week, which way do you want to go? And you remember the answer they gave us? I want the better team. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, okay, absolutely. I get it. I get it. But I think there's a lot to having that momentum of having played versus coming off of that layoff because maybe you start a little bit slower. We see those upsets happen all the time. They'll run it now out of the gun. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Flowers, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Looking to throw. Thomas. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And the Jaguars send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. From the gun, George. That's complete to White. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 down at the 33. 
Back to throw. George. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Got it. So they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're going to pick up the holding call. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And a nice gain of 21 yards. First and ten, George. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He's got the first down inside the ten. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. They come out here in the eye. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Second and nine now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. Operating from the gun, George fighting to stay upright. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, very smart play right there. Pocket collapsing around him. Loved the way he moved around a little bit and avoided the sack. So now the Titans are going to call upon their field goal unit here. This is a 26-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And now back out comes the offense. And right now, they're just looking for a little more cushion, trying to make this a two-score game. Points here would go a long way, obviously, to propelling them into the next round. And this is where the head coach, offense coordinator, they've had to set a tone all year long about what they do on offense. So most teams want to stay in attack mode, but you have to do it with some bit of caution, don't you? because you can't come away with no points. You need these points here in order to feel a lot better about where they are in this game. But this time of the year, playoffs, game of this magnitude, this is what we hope for. Yeah, it's exactly what we hope for. You want to run your offense cautiously, but not so cautiously that you just give it up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Now, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know 
that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the Dana. offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. To throw on second down. George. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It's a team game, but sometimes individuals do stand out, don't they? How about that for a twofer? Tackle for a loss on the running play on the previous down, and then comes right back and gets a sack. Something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. On fourth down, George. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jags take over in terrific field position. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Two. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Flowers, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it, and now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up, but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. On, line set. of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Titans moving quickly here, they're in the hurry up. Back to throw. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. Look at the big man rumble. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. So a great play there by the defense. If these guys are going to advance, and it looks like they will, this defense a big reason why. And they love carrying the mantle for this team, don't they? You see the way that they move around out there? They want to lead this team deeper into the playoffs and hopefully onto the Super Bowl. And that return for a touchdown certainly helps that cause. Point after try, forthcoming. And the lead is up to 15 now. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So now the Titans down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. It's certainly a tough situation on the road, needing two scores to stay alive in the playoffs as they come up first and 10. 70, Indy. Throwing on first down, George. Throwing right, and that's complete. And I think we've got a hold here. Holy it's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way is not really working for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw, George. He's gonna let it fly. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw, George. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. But they have a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big time play for a Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short though with that marker. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is gonna wind up incomplete. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. They go down to a knee, and that will do it. They are moving on here in the playoffs. And 
and losing in this wild card round. You know, they've got something to build on, though, for next year. But I don't know if they want to hear that right now. Maybe not at the moment. But once they get away from it a little bit and they get into their off-season program, and they'll start to talk about that. And I like how you framed it, building blocks, you know, building this program up. And one of my favorite coaches always talks about brick by brick, you build a program. And this is one of those bricks to build them towards the next season where they think they have a chance to advance.